Hello and a warm welcome to South Wales. It's always a pleasure Thank to broadcast from the Cardiff Wales. City Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And you can really sense the anticipation on the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Cardiff City and they take on Blackburn Rovers. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre-season. All aim for this game. First game of the season. All that preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it. Get the three points. Move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. And so this, the team for Cardiff City. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the full-backs will be asked to support from behind. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. Shogo Taniguchi. Miura. Yasser Al Shahrani. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, pressing high is something the visitors like to do. It can take a lot out of any team, but it is very much their game. Lee, would you expect that approach this time? Yeah, absolutely. The press looks on the way the team's set up. High energy is needed for this tactic. Everyone has to buy into it, but the rewards are big, Derek. Well, they couldn't keep it. Amari Bell... Lewis Holtby, Gallagher, an authoritative challenge, Nakajima, a goal has been scored in the Bournemouth match, Alan McAdally, it's a goal for Bournemouth, a real opening now, real chance, in it goes, an early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. the game then well we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there to clarify Bournemouth have found the net in that match and their lead stands at 1-0 presently well, this could pose problems for the defenders that's all they can conjure for now Excellent ball over the top. Well, great read there to intercept. Al Shahrani. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Salman Al Faraj. Now Yuki Fujita. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Fujita. Kamada. 
Salman Al Faraj. And let's join Alan McAnally with news of a goal that's been scored in the Barnsley game. Alan. It's a goal for Derby County. 21 minutes played, 1 0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Kamada. Now Yuki Fujita. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. A bit sloppy in possession. In behind for him to chase. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, we can see it again now, and it really is a difficult ball to defend against. Over the top and into space, and then just look at the finish. Reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the keeper. There's just no stopping that. It's going their way, 2-0. Sam Gallagher. Extremely sloppy in possession. Cardiff possession stats have been impressive and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. And given away... Chance to do damage. Could play it in. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. A fine use of the ball. Can he finish? Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Played into the center of the box. Well, no end product. Ben Brereton. Brilliant piece of skill. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Chance to play it in. It's opening up for them. Nothing productive, really. Salman Al Faraj. Well, he needed to read it to get there and did. An unforced error, you've got to say. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, it all counts for naught. He's got to score! And a goal to delight the fans! Just what they were hoping for! Well, here's a second look, Derek, and it's not easy watching from a defender's point of view. They simply didn't deal with the danger, and they paid the price. Well, two one it is here. The, the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Ben Brereton. Can they get in behind them? Inui. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match.
plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Yuma Suzuki. Can he finish this? Real chance. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Well, the short corner routine. Now delivering that deep cross. It comes to absolutely nothing. And let's join Alan McAnally with news of a goal that's been scored in the Barnsley game. Alan. It's a second goal for Derby County. 50 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. He's beaten his man. Looks promising this. And time just challenged magnificently. There has been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Lee. Yeah, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it, Derek? I think he'll add a lot of quality to his new club, and you'd expect him to have a real impact from the off. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Can they keep it going? Players back to cover. Tom Tribul. Gallagher. Oh, they have it again. And news of a goal in the Bournemouth match. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a second goal for Bournemouth. 55 minutes played. 2-0. Cheers again, Alan. And a throw-in forthcoming. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And he read it well defensively. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he's had a stormer, hasn't he? Scored a goal. He's certainly troubled all the defenders around there as well. I think there's more to come in the second half. And players waiting in the centre. Now trailing, but plenty of time left and a corner coming up. And firing it into the area. Well, thumped clear. And they need to get tighter. Oh, big chance! Now the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. And news coming through of a goal in the Birmingham match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Birmingham City. 65 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well read to win possession back. A real opening now. Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. Lenahan, Lewis Travis. So 20 minutes to go. Tom Tribul. Daniel Ayala. the challenge that was required let's join Alan McAdally now because there's been a goal in the Bournemouth game Alan it's a third goal for Bournemouth and a chance to level it making sure nothing untoward happened superb tackle Here it is now, a substitution. And over comes the corner. Terrific block there. A deft clearance. 
Well, we never like cutting off Alan McAnally, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons. To confirm, Bournemouth have scored in that game, and they are seemingly cruising now, 3-0 in front. Niambe. Travis. Lewis Holtby. This could be the equaliser. Now Yuki Fujita. Life is never dull in the championship. Live action coming up for you on... And in with a real chance. Still alive. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. Well, here's the replay, Derek. They say a good penalty is one that goes in. But that was always going to be the case here as the keeper gambles early and goes the wrong way. Easy penalty in the end. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. It's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Using his physical strength to shield it. Bradley Dack in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Niambe. Well, a joy to watch. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. Yasser al Shahrani. This looks promising. Tremendous ball played through. Well, they had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. The has indicated the well, the electronic board three showing three additional minutes. One minute remaining. This is looking threatening. Well, you've got to savour such moments. It might be on for them. And there it is, the final whistle, and it's a victory for the home side. They're going to be happy with this result, Lee. Well, it takes four to five games to really get your match fitness at the start of any campaign. You just hope that you can hit the ground running and pick some points up before that. And they've done that today. Well done indeed. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance. Just got a couple of questions for you regarding the match. Thank you for your time. Really
And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Coventry City, and they take on Cardiff City. Yeah, thanks, Derek, as always. Pleasure to be here. I have to say, the atmosphere is fantastic in here. And I'm anticipating a really good game today. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. And the lineup for the home side. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. Oh, he's given the ball away. A terrific pass. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Callum O'Hare. Suzuki. Walker. Time for us to get an update on the Forest game. I hear there's been a goal on that match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bournemouth. Five minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Shoya Nakajima. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Really good challenge. Brad Smith Nakajima and he's made headway just cleared away in the nick of time but he's gone short with it can he find the net just couldn't get it through Avzani. Patient build-up at the moment. That's a routine take. Turjaman. And options in the centre. Shielding the ball superbly. He's going forward well here. With a text opportunity here. And he knows he must thump it away. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Moving it forward. A fine reading of the situation. Not giving him a moment's peace. And the cross is very much on. 
I believe there's been a change to the scoreline in the Brentford match. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Brentford. 23 minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. It looks promising. Well read to put an end to that attack. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Brad Smith. Nakajima. Oh, in with a chance! And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Played into the centre of the box. Well cleared away. And he cuts inside. An attack full of promise. This looks threatening. And he's in the clear. What a vital intervention. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Sakai. Suzuki. Oh, big chance. In it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Obviously, it's a tough in Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. A chance to revisit the goal. It's going their way, 2-0. A really effective shielding under pressure. Failed to keep hold of it. Excellent ball over the top. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. delivering that deep cross I believe there's been a goal in the Forest game Alan McAnally can tell us more it's a second goal for Bournemouth 38 minutes played 2-0 thanks as ever for the update Alan Dabo can he play it in now veering in field The hosts have really controlled possession, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them as opposed to trying to go through the middle. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. It's opening up for them. He's using his strength to good effect, and it's still on for him. A corner will ensue. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a terrific game in attack league. Yeah, Derek, all those hours on the practice pitch pay off time and time again for this lad. It's not look, you know, why he's in the right place at the right time. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Sakai. Oshima. Shogo Taniguchi. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. And the big news confirmed just before the game, Real Madrid have succeeded in getting their man lead. Well, he's been the obvious target for many clubs and you can see why. He's a top player. Lots of people will love playing with this lad. It has to be! Well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. And let's go to Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a goal in the Blackburn game, Alan. It's a goal for Blackburn Rovers. 55 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. And taking it away. Looks promising, this. And struggling to get the shot off. And they could get one back here. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. And he's through here. And a goal! Wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition. Well, here it is again, and it starts with the ball over the top. Perfectly weighted, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Half an hour remaining then. Daichi Kamada. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Is it going to be? Well, the counter chance looks very real. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter attack. Not so. Nakajima. It's opening up for them. Just straying offside. So a personnel change then. I understand there's been a change to the scoreline in the Brentford match. Alan McAnally can provide us with the details. It's a third goal for Brentford. 66 minutes played, 3-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. How can they make one of these passes count? Alert defending. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. They need to get bodies back. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Arzani. And a tidy tackle. And he takes it away. Now can they create something? It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's OK shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. They will now make use of their substitutes bench.
So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Leo Ustigord. Matt Godden. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Allen. Difficult to stop him. Not a great pass. And there to intervene. And that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And news of a goal in the Luton Town match. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a third goal for Watford. 79 minutes played. 3-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And for a counter to succeed, it has to happen at lightning pace. It didn't. Alan... And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. A chance to whip it in. A fine reading of the situation. Koch. Good looking sequence. well to win the ball back hearing there's been a goal in the Luton game Alan McAnally it's a goal for the home team four minutes remain 3-1 cheers again Alan but strong play here on the shielding front well he's given a corner they referee Played into the centre of the box. Ustigord. One minute remaining. He's got the right idea with that pass. And he's in the clear. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Can they cover up? And in the end, no damage done. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top lead. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game. And they were certainly that today. Sharp, clinical and exciting to watch for sure. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10. Terrific pass. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Suzuki. Oh, big chance. In it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. And it's through here. And a goal! Wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition. 
He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal. All right, just a couple of questions for you. Thanks for the questions.
And this is the scene here at the Cardiff City Stadium. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Carabao Cup. It's Cardiff City and they face Grimsby Town. Well, thank you, Derek. With being big favourites, complacency can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go through. Can they put the pressure on in the first 20 minutes and hold out and then try and nick the game in the second half? And so this, the team for Cardiff City. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Tomoaki Makino. Shoma Doi. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, could you imagine a connection more pure? Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Green. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Philip Moraes. Hendry. Curran and they have possession again well that's a splendid piece of challenging and the challenge halts them in their tracks Ito the owner of the red convertible registration SMUG1 please return to your vehicle Robin Koch immediately thank you and he's through here. And thumped away. Koch. Nakamura. Robin Koch. What can he do from here? space and time for the cross well he really read that brilliantly Robin Koch Salman Al Faraj and with that the attack fizzles out It's opening up for them. And that's a corner. Taken short. 
Makino giving it a try and that's easy peasy for the keeper Curran Tilly and intercepts again looks promising this Tatsuya Ito and couldn't keep himself onside Curran Tilly Green difficult to stop him pressure exerted but he keeps the ball and that was a move of great promise they could easily have been in Ito and he's keen on cutting in well he read that brilliantly at the back Curran and a promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end Green Tilly Curran Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. A real defensive commitment there. Read it well. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, flinging himself at it. Corner kick played in. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Fantastic goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Kurumaya. Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. Curran. He's lost it. Cardiff possession stats have been impressive, but I don't think the manager or the fans will be too happy with this performance. It's all been a little bit too slow, too pedestrian. They need to find another gear if they're going to go on and win this. Tilly. Taylor. Bennett. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Promising attack, this. Can they get in behind them? Oh, skipping away. Moving the ball effectively, looking... Big chance! Well kept out. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. And firing it into the area. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And there it is, the half-time whistle.
The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Taylor. Tilly. Curran. Bennett. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Philip Moraes. Green. Will it be? Has a go. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Goal for the visitors. And as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Nakamura. Ota. Now with Koch. And the pass could do damage. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, he was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Highly significant piece of transfer business carried out. Gerard Moreno has completed his move to Manchester United. Well, Derek, the fans are really going to love him. He's a top player, a real pro. In fact, he's a manager's dream. It looks promising. Rob them. Robin Koch. Tremendous ball played through. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, his angles were all right. His reactions were superb. Great goalkeeping. Corner kick played in. What a vital intervention. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Salman Al Faraj. Big chance to get them on terms. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go round me? He's got no chance. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. The thrills and spills of championship action. Join us for this one live on EA TV. It's Cardiff City versus Wickham Wanderers. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. Green. An attack full of promise. Could go ahead. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here's the replay. And what a ball that is to put him through. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here?
Koch. At times they make passing look easy. Kengo Nakamura. Now with Koch. Well read to ease the pressure. Counter attacking very much. An option. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Green. Oh, good vision. Opportunity here. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed, it causes havoc, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. And he saw the situation developing. Bennett. Careless in possession. Crossbar got in the way. Well, you can't come much closer to scoring than that. And snuffing out the danger. Now they've lost it. And it's a case of just five minutes left. And attempting the through ball. And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, how about this? 4-3. And he read it well. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Philip Moraes. Space on the flank. It's opening up for them, using his physical strength to shield it. Well, possibilities in the centre. He's protecting it effectively. A potential danger here. Well, unable to bend his run offside. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, sometimes, Derek, it's not just about what quality you have in a team. It's about heart, desire, hunger. We saw that today in this team and more. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good...
time for a few quick questions? Thank you.